saddled up first to enter the den are entrepreneurs Ben Knowles, Robert Sargent and Chris Dixon. With a business they think will change the way the world views travelling on two wheels. We know we have something that works and we're looking for the help to get it to the size it needs to be. They believe their passion for pedal power, coupled with their professional prowess, is sure to secure them a deal in the den. We've got a product, we've got the expertise, we look great. I mean, you know, what could go wrong? Hello, I'm Chris, I'm a cycling instructor and I manage training. I'm Rob, web technologist, and I manage IT and finance. I'm Ben, I'm in charge of operations. Together, we're the directors of PedalMe. We're here today to ask for £100,000 in exchange for 5% of our business. In cities all across the world, time and money is wasted for people and their goods sitting in traffic, not going anywhere. PedalMe is a taxi and logistics service that offers fast, convenient transport around cities for people and their goods. We approached a manufacturer in Amsterdam. They built us this, and we now have eight of them, ridden by highly trained employees, offering a service that is cleaner, faster, and better value than any competition. Our customers love us and demand is accelerating. Since we started trading in May 2017, we've seen an average monthly revenue growth of around 50%. This year, we expect to take 600,000 pounds in revenue. By year three, our target revenue is 10.5 million pounds with a profit 3.4 million. The market is huge. In London alone, there are 400,000 taxi and private hire vehicle trips per day worth around 1.3 billion pounds. And together, we believe that we can make our streets better places for everyone. Thank you for listening, and we'd like to invite you to have a go on our bike. Oh, I want to go. <laughs> I'll have a go. I'm having a go. Not in this skirt. <laughs> Hoping the dragons will jump on board with their eco-friendly transport business. You have to sit at the front, Tuka. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Are Ben Knowles, Robert Sargent and Chris Dixon. Oh, OK. All right, you ready? <laughs> ready. Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, hey. We're cornering. They're looking for £100,000 for just 5% of their people and product delivery Great. service. Thank you. Tej Lalvani is first to get the wheels of commerce in motion. Hi. Look, I, I like what you guys are doing. I mean, you know, anything to reduce pollution is great and congestion mm. in metropolitan cities is brilliant. Uh, but if it's for transporting people as a taxi service, yeah. it could be hugely weather dependent. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. Britain with rain, snow, wind, etc. Yeah. If you're taking passengers, they're not going to be dressed in the right attire and they don't want to get all of a sudden drenched if they're going to go for a meeting or if they're going to visit friends. Yeah. Uh, OK, so the bikes are equipped with uh, these ponchos. But do you think people would want to wear some stuff which has been worn by 20, 30 other people that's smelling and, you know... Oh. Well, we expect our riders to be looking after the, the equipment to a degree and also making sure everything is in order. But it would be quite seasonal, because during the winter period, you're not going to get people sitting on that. In terms of balancing it, how easy is the balance? Because, you know, if you tip over, everyone falls over. Well, th this is part of our control over the marketplace, because we have this syllabus and we train people to a very high standard so that that doesn't happen. But someone else trying to set up a competitor company would find that very difficult to do. Uber could. It if Uber decided to do this... Yeah. In one week, they'd put the team together. OK. Would well, you agree? Uh, no, I wouldn't. You wouldn't agree? No. You'd take a bet? Yeah. Uber with all their money? Yeah. You don't think they could hire a good cycling instructor? Why can't Uber do it? Um, because it's the, it's the skill gap. It's very unlikely that they would have this combination of people who understand how to use cargo bikes in cities, a cycling instructor and someone who has the knowledge about tech. There, there is no-one else... Where could you find them? 
Can I tell you something, guys? Well, I'll... That guys, you're delusional, right? Okay. You are delusional. Okay. If I want to tomorrow find an instructor like you, I'd have a sure. queue of people in my office. Sure. If I wanted to find a tech guy like you, and I put an advert, I'd have a queue of people. If I wanted to find someone as cocky as you, it might be difficult. A bad start for the entrepreneurs, whose refusal to accept that their idea can be copied has infuriated Tuka Suleiman. Now, Deborah Meaden wants to get a handle on the delivery arm of the business. So, where are you operating at the moment? At the minute, we're operating in London. OK, so then I want these goods delivered from here and I want them there. So, you know, what's that going to cost me? So, the average cost of a journey, two-mile journey, is around £10, and that would include £2.50 pickup fee. So, what's your revenue daily? So, our revenue daily is five or £600. Um, this month, we're looking to take about thirteen or £14,000. Uh, on how many bikes? Uh, eight bikes. And mm. last question from me for a minute. How much do those cost? Uh, they're £5,000 each. £5,000 each. And are they bespoke to you or...? So, we had um, a limited degree of exclusivity, which runs out in this month. Oh, right. Our vision, to be clear, is not just about London. Our vision is about franchises in cities all across the world. Guys, the idea is not necessarily crazy. Do we need to cycle more and be more healthy? Of course we do. However, what is crazy is you coming in with £2 million valuation. Yeah. So the, the valuation that we put on the company is based on working back on from what we expect to take in three years time in the future yeah so when i go and buy a new house tomorrow you want me to pay the price that's worth in three years time rather than the price i can pay for it today is that your mentality no well, because why would no, i pay sorry why would i pay sorry, three I, years price i, I wasn't i wasn't clear so we're mm. expecting the company to be worth somewhere between 60 and 100 million in three years time okay that is okay. Uh, that is crazy that is absolutely ridiculous but we are off we're offering something that other people can't do what a bike that I can go and get procured in the netherlands tomorrow and uh, you know a, a mm. set of, a set of riders and trainers You're not going to do it with my money, uh, and certainly not at that valuation, so I'm out. Jenny Campbell puts the brakes on investment and is the first dragon to exit the deal. Could Peter Jones steer proceedings down a less rocky road for the entrepreneurs? I think the bike's fantastic, and I think this would do quite well. But this is really tough. Coming in a valuation of two million is incredibly naive. Mm. To do something like this, you probably needed to come in and give 60, 70 percent of your business away to raise that type of capital to have a chance. I'm not going to invest. So sadly, I'm out. I just think that the business model doesn't make sense financially to me, as I think it'll take a long, long time before I get my money back and I'm going to be diluted because you're going to have to keep raising funds. So, all the best, but I'm out. I really want to love this, but there's something about it that worries me. You actually honestly don't have a barrier to market. You say it's training, I can train. That isn't the barrier. I understand completely why you think that, yeah. That but is the saying, that is the just so you know, I'm really good at interpreting what people say. Yeah. What you've actually just said is you don't agree with me at all. I, I just don't believe that other people are going to come in and find people who can ride round multiple people on the front of their bikes without having collisions. Or 150 kilos of cargo. You're like the voice out of the dark. <laughs> He's heard this deep said voice that, comes in, he goes, 100. <laughs> you haven't said much, but it's very effective. It comes right in there. That's why he does the training. <laughs> <laughs> he scares the living dead. Not much scares me. <laughs> but I'm out. A slightly unnerved Deborah Meaden is reluctant to hop on board the city bike business, making her the fourth dragon to leave the deal. The trio's investment now rests solely with their old adversary, Tuka Suleiman. 
has he had a change of heart over the viability of the business? Look, guys, um, you all look very enthusiastic. The problem is, I see you guys as being a delivery service, working with 50 brands where you pick up all the time, you're delivering on the same day. Once you start going in, into the commuter world, it's not going to work. You either do one or the other. There's so many brands who want that service. Mm. So I'm going to make you an offer. I'll give you all the money, but I want 45% of the business. That's if you agree with my strategy. OK, thank you. Thank you. Okay. But you didn't see that one coming, did you? We believe in our You're business. Looking, no, so. no, I didn't. Yeah, come why, on, why be I? honest. No, I didn't. <laughs> cool. Should we go and have a chat? Yeah. 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 Thank you. An astonishing U-turn from Tuka Suleiman, who's offering all of the money for a sizable 45% of the company. I don't think I can do that to the existing investors. Will the entrepreneurs be prepared to give up a much larger stake than the 5% initially offered? to secure investment and a dragon in the driving seat. OK, uh, Tuka, we really appreciate your offer. And we really appreciate your advice, and we can see how we could make use of that. But we don't think that that is something that we, we want to make as a company. OK. But thank you very much. For that reason, you know, I'm not going to invest in your business, and I'm out. Okay. Fair. Thank you. Thanks. Thank Good you. luck. Thank you. On your bike. The entrepreneurs just don't share Tuka Suleiman's vision for their business, and they leave the den without the hundred thousand pounds they were hoping for. Slaughtered. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, then, See you guys. <laughs> we feel that it was a failure on our behalf to communicate properly the full potential here. I mean, we might be thought of as possibly a little bit cocksure, perhaps, but, I mean, I don't think I've had my belief shaken in what we're doing one bit. Who wants to be pedal ar around here? <laughs> pedal me? Not if you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh.